And I do roll these ones up because- Oh, Jesus. oh God. This is why I don't try to be aesthetically pleasing or like do lookbooks because that's not, that does not happen in a college dorm. Welcome to college, Vector. Hello, bitches. My name is Fruit of the Loom today. I asked you guys on Twitter what video would you like for the week because I'm trying to be less selfish for once. And a lot of you said paint Vector, but I realized I don't have my paint with me, so <laughs> that's gonna be another video. But the second video you voted for was a college lookbook because apparently the clothes I wear are very appealing and you guys wanna know more, except I don't understand why you want this video because 77% of you guys are women. And I don't know why a male college lookbook is supposed to benefit you, but I'm just going to take it as you think I dress feminine, which yeah, I know. I, I, it's fine. I've made like two videos about how I dress in the past, but they don't really represent how I dress now because that was like high school Frederick and college Frederick is on such a higher level than this Frederick. So I'm just going to show you guys some of my go-to outfits that I wear in college. I'm going to try to tell you the prices of every item, even though I will forget. And you guys want to know where I get my clothes because you should be aware I don't get clothes from like Gucci or Prada. I'm not that kind of YouTuber. And maybe you'll learn from some of my tips. Anyways, I'm gonna just show the first outfit, which is this. I got the jacket from Bloomingdale's. It's a Scotch soda jacket. And I got it on Black Friday because it was originally like 300 and I think I got it for under 200. Keep in mind, I only have two items of clothing in my entire wardrobe that is over $100. This is one of them and I love it to death. If you guys didn't know, I'm addicted to pins and occasionally I put a couple on my jacket. I just have two leaves that I got from Buffalo Exchange. The sweaters from Plato's Closet, it's like a chain thrift store, maybe like $8. And then these pants are one of my favorite pairs of pants. They're high-waisted corduroy size four meant for women, but they fit me perfectly, so I'm not complaining. And I got them for like $20 on Depop. Don't ask me for the brand, by the way, because I'm not gonna take these off and check my asshole. Oh, and if you really thought I was about to wear these shoes in my room, I'm not gonna show you what they look like on my feet, but these are the Doc Martens I wear with these pants. And I always wear the same goddamn belt because I don't see the need to have 20 belts. I just have a belt for every color and I don't use them anymore because I don't feel the need to slap color on my body. I try to have more earthy colors now. But these are the first Docs I ever bought and they were from Depop for like $25. And I also try not to buy leather shoes from the actual company because it's leather and I feel better when I'm buying it from a thrift store because I know damage has already been done. Might as well make the best of it. But yeah, these docks are the best because they have a 1.5 inch sole, which makes me not a midget Asian anymore. Sometimes, occasionally, I am taller than a male. Oh, don't, don't you dare judge my shower shoes. I'm living with three males. I'm not putting my feet on the ground. All right, here's a little tip. I only wear around five pairs of pants, so I try to find as many shirts that can pair well with them. And there is something so amazing about having brown pants and is that they work with almost every sweater you have. This one got from Plato's Closet, $8. And it just works. It's simple, you have two colors basically, and you will never see me not tuck in my shirt anywhere. Ever since I learned about this amazing concept of high-waisted pants. I never stop worrying about because by tucking in my pants, it makes me look a little bit taller because I'm already very stubby. Also, I'm not gonna go over every single sock that I own because we'd be here for 30 minutes. But I tried to choose a pair of socks that match my sweater. Sometimes you're not as lucky, but as long as you have one piece of color on your sock that matches the, a piece of color on your sweater, you'll be fine. I have teal and teal, and then I have red and red. Oh, and if you're wondering how I managed to tuck in this much worth of sweater, into my pants, which is right here. It's a little bit hard to visualize without me showing my underwear, but I'm gonna try to do my best from the outside. What you're gonna do is first put on your sweater, then put on your pants so that they're already like around your sweater. Push this down, like push everything down as far as possible. If this starts to bunch up right here, what you're gonna do is flatten it out by taking this. You're gonna pull in the fabric from inside and then flatten it right there. And basically that, this, will be underneath this. So then you end up having a flat front and then less fabric in the back because you don't have to squeeze it. I always see people like pulling it back and then like doing it like this. No, no, make it smooth. It also takes time. Like I've been able to put shirts that literally go below my asshole 
into these pants. Oh yeah, speaking of below the asshole, this is the shirt I'm talking about. This is a large. This is a men's large. Y'all ready to see some witchcraft? Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, try me now! This is another shirt that I usually wear, but it has a stain on it. I'm pretty sure it was because I used an acne treatment that is known to bleach clothing. I'm working on finding another one, but like I said, these pants are so universal. Like, any color will work on it besides, you know, the same tone of brown. I'm not gonna put on the last sweater because I, I it's a mess already in this room. You've seen me wear this before. It's basically like a checkered sweater that I got for $4 from just a random thrift store. It's called Village Thrift. This I got from Plato's Closet. Maybe $12. And I will always wear these with purple socks. Specifically, the purple socks with lemons from either H&M or Forever 21. I don't know. The men's section from both is basically the same thing. And because it's been colder lately, I will wear this with a trench coat or my other yellow jacket that you've already seen. So this is like what you would get. You no, know? and I always wear my glasses. Don't forget that. I feel like I should be walking down New York City because of this trench coat. You know, I'm going to my local market that sells organic handmade candles for fucking five dollars a wick or i'm off to like a bookstore to study french literature or something if i ever want to show off and let people know i'm from new york city i wear the purple nyu sweater that every goddamn student here has this is like a typical frederick outfit like i will always take one of these quarter zips that from Ralph Lauren. Once again, I never actually bought it from Ralph Lauren. This is $8 from a thrift store. I don't really recommend Buffalo Exchange. It's like a beginner entry thrift store. And here it's really expensive still. Like you're, you're better off just going to a Goodwill. Plato's Closet is like one step above Buffalo Exchange. But if you really want to find these like cheap, and I mean like $2 sweaters, look around. You have to find just a big, big store that just has them all in the rack and it's like, they're labeled in blue, red, and green. You're not gonna find cheap clothing from, you know, thrift stores that are very picky and only take things in season. But if I can't think of an outfit, this is what I wear because I know it's safe. These plaid pants are from H&M and they don't fit me at all. But it probably appears as though they do. And do you know why? H&M, just like Forever 21, is not short friendly. A small there is still a medium to me. The smallest pants, over my leg. So the lowest size H&M has, I think is a waist 29, and I'm like 26, 27. So what I do is my mom helps me sew an elastic around these pants so that they cinch in, sort of like your scrunchies. And you can probably see the elastic right here. Like it's just, it's just a little bit, you know, just a little bit. You don't notice it though, because I wear a belt over it. And to get rid of all of this extra-ness, cause they go down to here. What I did was measure where I wanted to end. And I measured a little bit too, Steep, kind of above my ankle now, but it's fine. And I just looked up a tutorial on how to keep the original hem on a pair of pants, and then I did it. It's really easy to do, okay? You don't have to be a professional sewer to do it. You don't have to pay someone to hem it for you. Just, just try it yourself. But because these are a little bit short on me, I do have to wear these Doc Martens. Never been a fan of the high Doc Martens that like every, and I mean every, Visco girl has. Good Lord. Oh my God. I'm getting flashbacks. I always try them on, and they just, they don't look right with me, but these ankle dog marns though. <gasps> They're so good. You can't find them in the US because this is a UK size. For anyone wondering, it's style 8542. But I found these on Depop and oh my god. It, these are the most comfortable shoes I've ever worn. There's like a padding inside that's just like memory foam. And you can probably see if I put on my shoe, they end right where that pant ends. And maybe it's just me, but I hate it. I hate it when pants bunch up. Like you either roll that shit or you just cut it off. So that's why I cut them shorter. And if anyone's wondering why I don't just, you know, roll them up instead of cutting. Rolling up jeans when you're short, makes you look even stubbier and it doesn't work for skinny pants guys maybe for girls because it's like pure spandex that you're wearing but for guys it just looks chunky you know the rolls look chunky and i'm trying to look skinny also do not oh my god do not mix patterns please i'm wearing plaid pants right so i can either wear a plaid scarf or plain do not wear stripes it's not a cute idea obviously there's no rules to fashion but like there's some guidelines you should follow and it's just how we perceive things like wearing different patterns messes with the eye and it makes it look all messy rolling up your jeans makes you look shorter it's just these things that people have said for ages that just work and are true so if you want to wear your striped ralph lauren shirt over your plaid pants please do but i'm sure it'd look a little bit better and more minimalistic if you just wear a plain shirt like this sweater okay it's a plaid sweater that i got from i think old navy it won't clash with the pants because it's the same pattern but if i wore a polka dot Scarf. You judge me. You would judge me. Don't even lie. If your friend was doing that, I'm sure you would say, 
Well, what, what's going on over there? Not familiar with that. And because I'm a basic bitch, I have another white sweater that I've worn with this. It's this one. You've seen the Instagram post. And like, that's the thing. I don't try to have different outfits all the time. I just try to make like different variants. Like obviously you don't want to wear the exact same shirt every day, but do you really need a different outfit every day of your life? I don't think so. Like if I paid $25 for these pants, I'm gonna wear it at least 25 times. That's just like a general rule I like to follow. Oh, and yeah, you should be amazed by my butt because I've been working out. This is an outfit I like to call my Christmas self outfit. Obviously with red and green, especially plaid green, it's gonna look like a holiday, but it doesn't have to look tacky holiday. So once again, a basic Ralph Lauren quarter zip. It can literally be a sweater too, okay? Sweaters are like $8 at any thrift store. Quarter zip, plaid pants. This black belt from ASOS that does not fit me. Like, look how small this is. And then these black, uh, what do you call them? Chelsea boots from ASOS as well, on discount. Always in the sales section, guys. Always go to the sales section. Also, if you're a college student, H&M, ASOS give you discounts for just being in college. Register with uni days, okay? If you do shop at H&M, because I think it's a pretty good store, always donate clothes because you'll get a 15% off coupon. It doesn't have to be clothes, like fabric, okay? Just don't give your fabric away. You don't need that many clothes in your closet, and it goes to a good cause. Unless they change their policy like every other stupid clothing brand. But this is the same outfit in my profile picture. And plaid pants are just like a moment, okay? They're, they're so nice to wear. I literally love plaid pants so much. I got the same style in red and black. And yes, I do have to put an elastic and hem these as well. And I also got this hat because I realized maybe you need some accessories, especially in the winter time. I got this in the airy section at American Eagle. Damn, I look white. I wouldn't wear it for this outfit. You have to be in a certain mood to wear this beanie. I don't really wear them anymore though because I have these flowing locks, okay? Sorry if the lighting is a bit different. I had to go take a physics quiz in the middle of this video, but you guys are probably waiting for this outfit. I mean, you all know that I've used to wear stripes every single day. I always had a primary color and that's fun, except not when you're called a soft boy. I don't like to be associated with that because one, it's a lie. Boys pretending to have emotion and dressed more softly and wear blush to win over a girl. Not my type of thing, but I think there's a large majority of people who like primary colors at some point, just like a lot of people like black. And while I do appreciate the look, I don't do it as much because I look like ketchup and mustard sometimes and I just, I don't want to look like that anymore. Once a month, maybe, I'll wear like all of these colors. This is from ASOS, it was probably like $20. Black belts from ASOS, because I only wear two belts. And these pants were like $12 from Depop and apparently they're Hollister mom jeans in like waist size 27 and I do roll these ones up because oh, Jesus. oh god this is why I don't try to be aesthetically pleasing or like do look books because this that does not happen in a college dorm I do roll these pants up though because they're baggy and they like cinch in at the ankle which I like but yeah call me ketchup and mustard Ronald McDonald I don't care I own it once again this is another striped shirt just telling you a different way you can style it this I found for like I think it was $30 on Depop. By the way, if you don't know what Depop is, it's basically like an eBay except for vintage thrifted items that a lot of people price way too high. But like, if you look around enough, you'll find lower price things. But there's something about a white collared, long sleeve striped polo shirt that makes me just go, mm. I remember I hated them as a kid. Like I would always wear these and I would tell my mom, get rid of all the stripes. And then for some reason, my body wants to wear them again. But uh, this is like, the classic primary shirt. Navy, yellow, and then red right here. Then you have your classic straight leg pants. These are like a woman's size two, six, eight. And I put an elastic and then I roll them up and they are like the perfect straight legs ever. Like I've been looking for these for so long and when I put on Doc Martens, I just feel like I'm in an 80s movie. You guys see me do this enough. I don't try to do it as much anymore because I'm growing out of it. I'm trying to go to like green and brown and white, which are like, it's such a different world. <laughs> and I know I could pass up as a middle schooler, but like sometimes you want to look young. And I didn't say this for the last outfit, but if you notice my pants were burgundy and the top part of the sweater is burgundy. If you can find like a piece of color on your shirt that matches your pants, it'll look cohesive. So like this navy matches the blue on my pants. I also have an extremely lazy outfit, which is this teal sweatshirt with these plaid pants from Urban that are so ungodly expensive. Don't buy them. But like this little bit of amount of teal, 
these will make a match. And also it has this red accent right here that matches these pants. And another thing, um, if you have a belt that's way too long, by the way, I didn't buy this belt, it's my mom's. Just like slice a hole in the middle of it, you know, take a pair of scissors and just really go at it. I prefer an X-Acto knife. That's what I found works best for me. And if you can't find anything with a white collar, just go to a thrift store, find a really cheap white collar shirt and put that underneath any sweater. But those are like the majority of the outfits I wear. And yeah, I didn't put a turtleneck in this video because we all know that they're not that great. It is nothing new. A majority of people look good in it. And one time I got called Asian Steve Jobs, so I try to stay away from it. I have like two turtlenecks though. And of course they're off white and black. Sorry I couldn't get this video to look, you know, amazing. I mean, I'm in a college dorm. And there isn't a lot of, you know, room in this room. It's not really easy to model anything for you guys unless I'm at my house. But uh, if Ashley from Best Dress is watching, um, find me in Brooklyn. Teach me your ways, okay? Because her style, her style? That's all I have for today though. Let me know if you want to see me go on a thrifting spree because I, I can do them. And if you enjoyed this video, give it a like, leave a comment down below about what video you want next. Subscribe because uh, if you watch the end of this video and you still haven't, you're being a little bit selfish, okay? Think about the other people who want to try to make a living in this world. Think about me. 50% of people who watch me aren't subscribed and I consider that a crime. And make sure your notifications are all the way turned on, not sometimes turned on because sometimes YouTube does that. And as always, I love you guys and everything is less than three. Okay, you see that? See all of that shit? I have to clean that up.